So we are back. We're back. But this time I'm ranking Dahlia's favorite white floral fragrances. Are, are these predominantly tuberose? There are a few. Yeah. There are several tuberose on this list. But we also have Lily of the Valley. We do. Gardenia. We have Jasmine as well. Jasmine. Okay. Um, so if you want to find out how they, they are ranked, these fragrances from Dahlia, then please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. If this is your first time tuning into the channel and you love watching fragrance reviews, finding out about new fragrances, discovering new brands, and of course participating in giveaways, and you still have not subscribed to my channel, please click that subscribe button below and also click the bell so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. Shall we start? Is there a theme to your white floral fragrances? I was shocked by how many I have. I was genuinely surprised. This isn't all of them. This is the top 10. There were there were white florals that did not make the cut, just so you all know. Um, and and actually, you brought how many here? You brought like 14? I only brought 16. I had 19 that would have qualified. Mm. I pre-edited your edit. Okay. Um, yeah, the, I, I love them. They suit me. They... Okay. They make me happy. All right. So now Sebastian is judging my collection and you get to enjoy it. Well, first of all, I do need to say that it is vintage heavy. Um, there's a couple three vintage in there. Um, couple but, three? Well, a couple, th <laughs> couple of somebody, one, two. So, but yeah, but there, there's still, several of the vintage are still available, uh, although possibly reformulated from the versions that I have in my collection. And speaking of vintage, we have an honorable mention, and it is from the house of Dior, and it's Diorissimo, and it's cute little vintage bottle right here. Yes, and it's a dabber um, in this uh, bottle. There is a sprayer that goes with it, but it's like one of those oldie timey sprayers and I just can't, I just can't even. But it's, uh, it's lovely. It's the bottle I have smells basically the same as the modern version. The modern version. And yeah. this is from like the 50s or 60s with the herringbone. I'm absolutely obsessed with Diorissimo. Um, I didn't feature it in my video because I was trying to focus on making sure my video was mostly Too niche. Oh, new. Niche. Right, niche. Uh, plus tuberose, obviously. But we did have some Lily of the Valley. And this is a beautiful Muguet Lily, Lily of the Valley. I think it's one of the best. The cleanest, brightest, most... Freshest. Spring very fresh. in a bottle. And in fact, I was in Paris on May Day. And in May Day in, uh, in France, they they hand out uh, the Muguet, the Lily of the Valley. And when you smell those off of the branches, it smells just like this perfume. Just like it. And they're cute. They're little white yeah, flowers. They're, but they're poisonous. They're, you know, aside from being highly toxic, they smell really nice. Yeah, they do. Okay. All right, so top 10. At number 10, we're going to this very classic fragrance that my mom used to wear and her friends used to wear that I loved smelling on them. Can you guess this bottle? It's poison. It says right there. It's Dior. It's it amazing. Is. Oh, it is a designer on my list. We had two Dior's in a row, actually, which is kind of funny. Yeah, it is funny. But um, this is... Oh my god, it's about tuberose, but this is a plummy tuberose. And I think the color of the bottle pretty much gives you the idea of this purplish kind of uh, fruit. It's just this dark sort of um, almost rotting, so ripe that it's almost rotten kind of feeling, which is um, great for the name. It's, it's heavy. I love the name. I dense. love the name. Yeah. Was, do you think this is Dior, Dior's answer to um, Opium from YSL as far as names go? Oh. Oh, I love that. I would love to know which came first. I don't remember. I think, uh, YSL's opium came first. Oh yeah, that fits with the. Um, well, because if you look at the trajectory of the just historically, the Studio Fifty Four was kind of this heyday of you know drugs are fun, and then the eighties drugs kind of got dark, and everybody. Hmm. Well, not I. Everybody. You're pretty ex experienced with the drug thing, huh? I was in the eighties. I think I was like eight, <laughs> so I, I was not an eight-year-old cokehead. I think that distinction belongs to um, a certain Hollywood person that I will not shame by naming her. Do you think uh, we should put all the fragrances here so they can see? So oh, can well, we that's an honorable mention. But yeah, put, yeah. Let's put it right there. Okay. All right, so next one we're going with a fragrance from Hiram Green, and which one is this? This is Moon Bloom, and it's the smaller travel size bottle. There is a bigger, sort of more beautiful bottle, but um, when there's an option these days, I will go with the smaller one just because my collection's getting out of hand. Um, Moon Bloom by Hiram Green. If you don't know Hiram, Hiram Green, um, I do have uh, 
a video of him who shot last year, um, just, just a couple of months ago at Essence for the launch of his new uh, rose fragrance. But this is a tuberose, right? I believe it's jasmine. Oh, it's jasmine. It's, um, so... Nice. It's big. It's a big fragrance. Oh, I put. That, I think I put that right over uh, ho Houto. Hold on. Houto. Well, I don't know if we're saying it right. Houto. So yeah, this is a. Um, uh, it's got that whole night blooming kind of feeling to the white florals. That is my expectation. It takes a minute to kind of develop, but it's got that great sort of um, dirtier jasmine. Um. It smells like almost bordering like to the dirty side of jasmine. It doesn't get there to me. It's still a, a beautiful white flower, but this is so dense. It's thick. It smells thick. It smells heavy. And it it's also smell, all natural, right? right? It doesn't smell like... I, there's an association with natural uh, perfumes that they don't have the staying power. This one really does. I think his fragrances stay a long time. Mm -hmm. They're very intense. And it just, uh, as it opens, it... it the, it just gets bigger and bigger, so... Cool. All right, so what's next? We have a fragrance from the house of... Blackbird. And this is Blackbird's Y-S... Y... Y-O-6-S. -S. -S. And we did a video on this... Uh, Together. Somewhere on the channel, and this one is a surprise. It opens with banana, which... Don't, I can't even understand how it works, but the banana and the jasmine are so good together. They are, they play very well together, but you know what I like about this one is the electronic parts. Right. And I then also the oud. It was just a funky thing to happen in, in, in a fragrance. So when uh, when fragrances do that, I really like that because it's very unique and it adds a very interesting twist. And this is a jasmine dolman and it's not tuberose, but you can definitely smell the jasmine once the banana goes. Right. We talked in the video about how it, um, there's a feeling of, you can picture this sort of narrative where there's a an urban sort of uh, environment. It's a city, there's a mechanic shop, there's a beautiful giant jasmine bush, and then there's somebody working on like cars or electronics or something like right next to it. And we got very, very literal, as, as I recall, in that. Interesting. Yes, what else? We got uh, Tuberose Flash from a Tower Vell. Now this one actually is a fragrance that I do own, but it's not one of my favorites from the Towerville line. Um, Rose Flash is my favorite. I love Vanilla Flash and Patch Flash. Those are like top three for me. This one has kind of um, a special place in my heart. It's great for travel. It's a good size for oh, yeah. travel. And it's, um, uh, I find that it works for daytime and it's, I, I travel for work, so it, it's actually a nice one for... Really? Yeah, and most of the white florals are kind of too big or heavy for, for work, and this is this not... This one's not. Uh, at I least feel, on me. I feel like it's a heavy fragrance. It doesn't wear heavy okay. for for my skin. Okay. I, well, unless I'm offending everybody and they just didn't say anything, that could also... Hmm. No. That could be a thing. All right. Well, this is Tuberose Flash so from Tower 10, Hill. So it's 10, 9, 8, 7. Yep. All right. Then at six we have Hoto again. You we have this featured in my list this. and it's hers her list. And I'll say it again. This one is to me laundry clean. It's very fresh and clean. I keep saying this in your videos, but whoever does your laundry, I could you please give me their name because my laundry doesn't smell like that at all. Really? Really? It's this clean fruity sheets. No. It smells like it's clean. It smells like linens. It smells laundered linens. It smells like this fruity evening tuberose on me. Wow. I don't get the fruit much out of this one. Right. This is one where it, there's pineapple, but it, just because it has pineapple doesn't mean that it smells like Aventus. It, no. And you know why? I didn't put this at the top myself. I like it a lot and I love the brand. I just find the fragrance to be very linear too. Mm. I don't get a lot of things happening with it. It's just musk and tuberose. Rock steady. And it's, then maybe very, very minute uh, nuances of the pineapple, which I don't get all the time. It's, um, well, there are other ones on the list that are maybe newer that I've um, been wearing a lot lately, but um, for a very long time, this is the one where when I wanted to wear two bros, it was what I grabbed. Okay. So at number five, we're going to Ramon Monegal, and this is Kiss My Name. So this is a newer one in my collection, and I've been wearing a lot of it this summer. It's a, um, it starts out very green and very clean. I will give you that this one is uh, clean, but then it sort of settles into a more gourmand kind of tuberose. Do you find these two have some similarities by any chance? 
Um, this is a lot more dense than this one. And they're both also very clean. They don't smell the same. They don't me, smell the same. But the tuberose, the tuberose ingredient might, they might be a similar uh, ingredient. Work, they're probably working with the same house that creates that note. Um, it, yeah, it, it, that that could be true, but they they wear very differently. That's how we're going to justify this today, ladies and gentlemen. But I, I love this house. I just don't speak about it much. Um, do you know about it? Um, I. I probably like Googled it at some point and I've forgotten everything. I don't remember um, uh, the background on that awesome um, bottle design. I remember I looked that up specifically because it looks exactly like those like cigarette lighters that they used to have on like coffee tables in the 1950s. Um, I uh, it's it's very fun though. It's tactile. It's a it's a great um, and it, it it does it wears really really well. Really. Um, and again, gourmand. I shouldn't like it. I love it. You're going to become a gourmand head like me pretty when, soon. One day. So there, there shouldn't be a list like uh, this list without this beautiful the fracas. Label, sorry, the label wore off and I don't have it anymore. But Now um, this is the Two Bros Fragrances of all Two Bros Fragrances from the house of Robert Piguet. Of course, does it come like this anymore or does it just no. come in the spray bottle? Uh, no, it comes in the same sort of uh, black... I don't know if you have it handy, but um, it, it looks like all the rest of their bottles nowadays. Um, but this is a vintage bottle then. It is. This is the, uh, I think, sort of the two bros to end all two broses. It's, it's, it used, it's sort of like we've said about Portrait of a Lady, like why would you make another rose after that one? Um, this one, it's a little bit like, like why would you try? It's, it's the... Um, well, well, Madonna did her fragrance. She tried. Anyway, that's Fracca from uh, Robert Piguet. This next one is from the house of um, Santa Maria Novella, and which one is this? Muget uh, Mugetto? Mugetto. Mugetto. So it's Lily of the Valley. So this one, to me, smells like a fresher take on the very, very fresh Diorissimo. It's very similar to me, and it's... This is where I would go with Laundry Clean. This is one that um, is so nice in, um, in my house. It's so bright and... Well, I can see the Laundry Clean, but to me, this one's more floral than uh, Hoto is. Hoto, yeah, has the fruit kind of component to it. So, but but this is the one where it's like it's bright. That's it's what fresh, I want my, it's my green. To smell it's like. floral. It's cl clean. Yep. Anyway, this is more cleaner to me. But anyway, yep. this is fun. I love it. Number three. Okay, so number two. What's the name again? Oh, we had the we made the Google tell us. It's uh, Jardin de Bagatelli. Okay, Jardin de Bagatelli from Guerlain. This is a vintage bottle. That's a vintage and bottle. And it's amazing. It's really... A this vintage bottle is freaking phenomenal. It beat out this little thing right here. Yeah. It's, it's so good. When I sprayed it on, I was wearing it. I was like, damn, that's so good. You can see that I like it. It's um, one that's gotten a lot of wear this summer. And it's a bouquet of... I don't remember which florals, actually. It's tuberose. It's, but there's other... There are other floral notes in there, I think, but it's tuberose is the dominant note. It's it's quite lovely. And so now it's in um, that Guerlain bottle that's... The bottle, like clear frosted. Yeah, so it doesn't look like that anymore. doesn't, but this is amazing. So where did you end up getting this? Probably eBay. eBay, okay. All right, so last but not least, that number one, she does have this fragrance. It's called Carnal Flower. And that was number one on your list. It too. was number one because, I mean... It, it's really good. Even though this is the end all to tuberose, I think this is the end all to tuberose. It's, modern tuberose. It's more modern. Yeah. It's more... Um, it's a great scent. To me, it's like a coconutty tuberose, but it doesn't go in the direction of like um, a suntan lotion because there's this green uh, eucalyptus note in here as well. Um, it's a great, great I scent. I think Fraca can be almost overpowering, which is funny because modern... This one's not? No. No. I, I think Fraca is actually bigger. It wears bigger than Carnal Flower, which is crazy. Mm. Um, but... Uh, we've had other videos where we've talked about, you know, beast mode and how what a modern day beast mode is is like so much bigger and better than in the past, and that's mostly true. But Fraca is is gigantic. It's um, bigger than Carnal Flower. I, I, maybe it's my skin, but Fraca is you, <laughs> it precedes me. Mm, like I will I will arrive ten minutes after the fragrance. Oh wow! Okay, <laughs> that's a big cloud. It really is. I think this might have been on. Uh, another list. Um, okay. I don't remember anymore, though. Anyway, those but, are my selections. I, thanks for thanks for ranking. Yeah. Do you my, like the way I ranked them? I, yeah, I could probably. What would you have changed? 
Oh my goodness. It's tough to change these though. No, it really, because I love all of them. Um, but they all, they all serve a different purpose. So I guess if you ask me which one I would, it, it would depend on the occasion. I, I love them all. It's, now I see why it's easier for me to rank yours because you probably love all of the ones you have too. I do. But You know what? We need to get a b new bottle of uh, poison. I would compare it. Compare it. <gasps> Offending everyone. That's anyway. Yes. Thanks again. This Thank is fun. you guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please list below. Once again, if you have a favorite tuberose or white floral fragrance that you want us to check out, please put a comment down so that we can find out and start a conversation. Other than that, guys, please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye. It smells great in here. It smells great in here. It smells really great. <laughs>